Hello, and welcome to the Authorized Installation Contractor Program's Combustion Safety Test Procedures. This course will teach you the procedures for the combustion safety test that all contractors are expected to perform as part of the Authorized Installation Contractor Program. You may be required to successfully complete this self-learning tool as part of your requirements for participating in this program, or you may decide to do this to brush up on program requirements. Purpose of the Combustion Safety Tests As a Quality Installation Contractor Program Qualified Contractor, you perform combustion safety tests to make sure that natural and induced draft combustion appliances are working properly and not spilling combustion gases into the house. Combustion gases can contain high levels of carbon monoxide, which is an odorless, tasteless, invisible gas that can poison the occupants of the home. These tests are required for the program. It's a good idea to educate the occupants about the risks of carbon monoxide gas and to verify that they have carbon monoxide alarms. How many combustion safety tests and why? You will do as many as two combustion safety tests for the house. You will always perform one test before you begin work on the house. This test will tell you if the house is operating safely and whether you can even begin work. This is the fans off test. You will always perform a second test after all the work has been done. This test will tell you if the work you have done has created an unsafe condition and you need to caution the homeowner. This is the fans on test. The pre-work fans off test. Performing the pre-work combustion safety test with the house exhaust fans off tells you whether the combustion appliances are capable of creating a sufficient draft and that the flue is working properly. If the appliances fail this test, you should not proceed with the work until the situation is fixed. The post-work fans on test. Performing the post-work combustion safety test with the house exhaust fans on creates a worst case scenario. If the appliances fail this test, you will need to inform the homeowner that a combustion safety issue can arise under worst case conditions and that corrective action may need to be taken, such as repairing or replacing the combustion appliance. Combustion appliance draft types. Natural venting. Always need to complete combustion safety tests. Induced draft. Test for draft at the water heater draft hood. If the water heater is electric, then no draft testing is needed. Power venting. You do not need to test for draft. Sealed combustion. You do not need to test for draft. Natural venting appliances. Natural venting. You always need to complete a combustion safety test. Test for draft at the draft diverter or at the opening in front or the back of the appliance. This is a typical standalone natural venting water heater. Draft can be checked at the draft diverter. Natural venting appliances. Front drafting appliance. This natural venting furnace doesn't have a draft diverter. The draft can be checked through the opening in the front of the furnace. Natural venting appliances, rear drafting appliance. This natural venting boiler vents from the back side of the appliance. Check for draft underneath the bottom portion of the chimney. Natural venting appliances, multiple appliances. When there are two naturally venting appliances, start by testing the water heater. Next, test the heating appliance while keeping the water heater firing. Both of these systems can be tested at the draft diverter. Double check the draft at the water heater while both appliances are firing. Power venting appliances. You do not need to test power venting appliances for draft. Induced draft appliances. Test for draft at the water heater draft hood. If the water heater is electric, then no draft testing is needed. Sealed combustion appliances. You do not need to test for draft. Pre-work fans off test. 
The purpose of the combustion safety fans off test is to determine whether you should proceed with doing the called for insulation work. This takes place before you begin any work. The six steps of the pre-work fans off test are number one, set up the house for blower door test. Number two, the water heater spillage test. Number three, the heating system spillage test. Number four, prepare combustion appliances for blower door test. Number five, perform CFM 50 blower door test. Number six, record results on MER rebate application. Step one, set up house for blower door test. Key points. All interior doors are open. Turn off all appliances. All exterior doors and windows are closed as well as fireplace dampers. All interior spaces should be communicating for whole house leakage test. You do not want the blower door depressurization to bring combustion gases into the living space. Open doors and windows will cause an inaccurate reading for house tightness. Step 2. Water heater spillage test. Key points. Number 1. Fire up the water heater. Number 2. Test spillage at draft diverter with chemical smoke. Number 3. Determine if spillage stops in 5 minutes or less. Number 4. Keep water heater firing for heating system combustion test. Reasons? Number 1. The burner must be firing to produce combustion gases and create a draft. 2. Combustion gases will spill at the draft diverter if there is spillage. 3. It can take up to 5 minutes for a draft to develop in the flue. 4. To test the heating system properly, the water heater must be firing. Step 3. Heating system spillage test. Key points. Number 1. Fire up the heating system, the furnace or the boiler. Number 2. Test for spillage at the draft diverter with chemical smoke. Number three, determine if spillage stops in five minutes or less. Number four, if the heating system is induced draft, test spillage at the water heater diverter when the heating system fires, after the purge cycle is completed. Reasoning. Number one, the burners must be firing to produce combustion gases and create a draft. Number two, combustion gases will spill at the draft diverter if there is spillage. Number three, it can take up to five minutes for a draft to develop in the flue. Number four, the fan in the induced draft heating appliance can cause the water heater to spill, so the water heater should be retested for spillage. Step four, prepare combustion appliances for blower door test. Key points. Number one, turn off all appliances. The reasoning? You do not want the blower door depressurization to bring combustion gases into the living space. Step 5. Perform the CFM 50 blower door test. Key points. All exterior doors and windows are closed as well as fireplace dampers. The reasoning? Open doors and windows will cause an inaccurate reading for house tightness. Step 6. Record results on MER rebate application. Key points. Number one, record the blower door test results. Number two, record combustion safety test results. Number three, if it's a pass, the contractor can begin work. Number four, if it is a fail, no work can begin until service is performed. The contractor provides the homeowner with a combustion safety appliance notice. Reasoning. The blower door test results are needed for the rebate. 
program documentation of combustion safety test results. Combustion appliances are operating properly so work can proceed. A combustion safety problem has been identified and the homeowner has been notified and the work has been stopped until repairs are made. Post work fans on test. The purpose of this combustion safety test is to determine whether you need to caution the homeowner that a combustion safety issue can arise under worst case conditions and that corrective action may need to be taken. This test takes place after you have finished your work. The six steps of the worst case post work fans on test. Number one, perform the CFM 50 blower door test. Number two, set up worst case conditions. Number three, set position of door leading to the combustion appliance zone. Number four, the water heater spillage test. Number five, the heating system spillage test. Number six, record the results on the MER rebate application. Step one, perform the CFM 50 blower door test. Key points, all interior doors are open, all appliances are turned off, all doors and windows to the exteriors are closed as well as fireplace dampers. All interior spaces should be communicating for whole house leakage test. You do not want the blower door depressurization to bring combustion gases into the living space. Open doors and windows will cause an inaccurate reading for house tightness. Step 2. Set up worst case conditions. Key points. Number 1. Turn on the dryer, kitchen exhaust fan, and all exhaust fans that have a flow rate of 150 CFM or more. Number 2. Turn on the furnace air handler. Number 3. Standard bath exhaust fans can be left off for this test. The exhaust fans put the house at its most negative pressure. The furnace air handler plays a significant role in the air pressure in the combustion appliance zone. The flow rate of standard bath exhaust fans does not contribute greatly to house depressurization. Step 3. Set position of door leading to the CAS. Open the door if chemical smoke goes away from the CAS. Close the door if chemical smoke goes into the CAS or does not move. Opening the door will allow the CAS to communicate better with the negative pressure into the house, creating a worst case scenario. Closing the door will reduce the communication of the CAS with the positive pressure, neutral pressure in the house, creating a worst case scenario. Step four, water heater spillage test. Key points. Number one, fire up the water heater. Number two, test spillage at draft diverter with chemical smoke. Number three, determine if spillage stops in five minutes or less. Number four, keep water heater firing for heating system combustion test. The burners must be firing to produce combustion gases and create a draft. Combustion gases will spill at the draft diverter if there is spillage. It can take up to five minutes for a draft to develop within the flue. To test the heating system properly, the water heater must be firing. Step 5. Heating system spillage test. Key points. Number 1. Fire up the heating system, the furnace or the boiler. Number 2. Test for spillage at the draft diverter with chemical smoke. Number 3. Determine if spillage stops in 5 minutes or less. Number four, if the heating system is induced draft, test spillage at the water heater diverter when heating system fires after the purge cycle is completed. The burners must be firing to produce combustion gases and create a draft. 
Combustion gases will spill at the draft diverter if there is spillage. It can take up to five minutes for a draft to develop in the flue. The fan in the induced draft heating appliance can cause the water heater to spill, so the water heater should be retested for spillage. Record results on MER rebate application. Key points. Record blower door test results. Record combustion safety test results. If pass, no further action is required. If fail, set appliance to pilot and retest with fans off to confirm safety. Contractor provides homeowner with combustion appliance safety notice and may recommend next steps such as repairing the appliance or replacing the appliance. The blower door results are needed for the rebate. Program documentation of combustion safety test results. Combustion appliances are operating properly so work can proceed. A combustion safety problem has been identified. The homeowner has been notified and work has been stopped until repairs are made. Congratulations! Thank you for viewing the training video. In order to move on to the next step of taking the quiz, go to this website. After passing the quiz, you can be listed as an authorized installation contractor on the website. Our staff will contact you regarding the next steps. You will need to reach out to CEE for your first three rebate jobs to go through the onboarding process. Contact Phil Anderson, QA and New Homes Manager at 651-789-5713 or at panderson at mncee.org. Thank you.